Nice is a voice recognition company and companies are already using your software to make sure that it's really us when we're calling. Can we do a little test? Walk me through how this would work if I were calling my bank right now. Hi, this is Samuel Burke. I'm just having a problem right now. I'm traveling abroad and I forgot to call you guys to let you know that I was going to be outside the U.S. and I just tried to use my credit card at a restaurant. You're good and, to go. Okay, so what is all of that showing us up there? Within six seconds, it had sufficient information related to your voice to be able to make a determination. It popped up a message to the rep saying you're good to go. Talk me through how this works. So really our voices are as unique or more unique than our fingerprints. Our voices have specific characteristics and there's over a hundred of them and some of them have to do with the thickness of our vocal cords, the length of our vocal cords, the shape of our tongue, our sinuses, and the other 50% have to do with our personality, such as tone or pitch or pace. Financial institutions are actually required by law to record all of their conversations. And so what Voice Biometrics does is it takes a recording and it can create from that a voice print. And then we can compare the new voice against the voice print that we have on file. So can we try this now with my brother? My mom and dad can't tell our voices apart, so I want to see if your system can tell us apart. Hi, I'm Samuel Burke. I'm a longtime customer of the bank. I am interested in transferring $1,000 into a new account, and I would like to do this immediately. I don't really have a lot of time, uh, so if we can make it as quick as possible, it would be greatly appreciative. Nope. He doesn't cross the threshold. So your system is better than my mom and my dad. What type of organizations are already using this? Most of the top 10 financial institutions have implemented voice biometrics to a certain extent. Most of them have selected particular types of customers where they have higher fraud rates and that's where they focused it. It seems that nearly every day there is a story about hacking. If these files were stolen one day with our voices, could that wreak havoc then? The voice print in and of itself doesn't actually have any audio, it's just the characteristics. So I can't play back a voice print and listen to a person. A voice print in and of itself doesn't have anything in it that says that it's connected to a particular customer. What it has is an encrypted key, and that key is unique to that particular company.